Okay, so at this point you can probably guess. I despise LED lights. I got a few sets. I got those. I got these ones. I don't get tangled up on my tree. I got some great big ones. And I got the small ones. But all of these have the same problem. Why I hate them. Let me back the camera off here. And I'll plug all of these in. Line in all the plugs. These aren't all my LEDs, I got some more red ones, but I'm not pulling them out because it's the same thing. Uh oh. Hang on. You have a problem. I'm going to have to look at this set. Okay, well these ones aren't going to be shown because they're just not working. Right, here's all the... All my LED sets and you can see my biggest problem is always with the blues. The blues are just so bright. And if I zoom in, you can see that uh, they're very flickery. I can demonstrate that even better. Now I'm just gonna I'm gonna set these ones to match with the rest. Just because it's gonna cause problems. Just with the synchronization. Oh god damn it! Do these not have a mode to just stay one color? You see, I don't have a manual for these, so I, I just have to hope for the best. But let's see if I can capture it now. I guess no matter what I do, these do not seem to line up. So we'll do each one individually. Just to show how flickery these lights get. Oh hey, look at that. I was able to get these ones working. This bulb is not going to do it now. Um, but a connection somewhere in the set is very flaky, so these ones have to get repaired. Not to mention, though, these uh, these jumbo ones are a lot. Yeah, you can see what I mean now. Um, but these these jumbo ones are a lot dimmer than those. Yeah, I can get these ones going again. There. So, what bulb was that? This one? 
I'm going to put a piece of tape on this bulb so I can find it again. There. I'll mark that bulb so I know it's that one. I'm just doing a shot of how flickery each set is. So now you can kind of see why I hate LED Christmas lights so much. But the flickeriness isn't the only problem I have. Tangle from this mess. I have a set of blue incandescent Christmas lights and obviously blue LED lights. And to me, one of these looks very, very nice and very kind of Christmassy, and one looks blue and overdone and just ridiculous and crappy, and I hate it. If you can't tell, I like those ones. I hate those ones. Blue Christmas lights are just the worst. Now, I'm not going to say all Christmas, all of these are bad. Because pull it out here. This is actually two sets, but they're connected together. So you can see it's my phone that fell out of my pocket. If I find the plug here. You can see these don't look overly bad. I, I genuinely kind of like these. Conveniently, right here, I have a set of red incandescent Christmas lights. Now I'm going to just untangle a bit so I can plug them in. And they look really nice. Let's combine them. Now I'm going to have to do the same comparison where I dim it down a bit for the camera with the blue ones, because I didn't think of that before. But those are the red incandescents, and those are the red LEDs. Now, other than those being more flickery, and those not being flickery at all, which I can actually show on video. You can see why. I don't think all LED Christmas lights are bad. I just... I hate the way they do the blues and the greens. The reds, the oranges, the yellows, whatever you want to call it, they look pretty good, but it's always the blue and the green that's just too bright. And it ruins the experience for me with LED Christmas lights. And the flicker, I don't like the flicker. Now, the flicker I can tolerate more than I can the harsh blues and the harsh greens. I I will do a comparison of multicolor LED versus incandescent as well. I'm just going to put these away because I'm done with these ones. Now the only thing the LEDs have going for them that the incandescents don't is the LEDs don't get hot. They can get a little warm, but they don't get hot. Now, I'll dim down the camera for this. And you can see those look those look nice. Those look way ridiculous. I, I, I just hate those. The only reason I have th those is because I bought them that came with a pack of other Christmas lights that were incandescent.
If it wasn't for that, I would not own these. I can tell you that right now. Now, I'm going to use a big jumbo set for my multicolor. them bundled together like this just for the convenience. Uh, where's the plug? There's the plug. I'm gonna dim it down. You can see one of these looks really nice and warm. And one of them died, um, but just do that to turn off the auto auto exposure. I'm gonna get an undone set of these because I don't I just don't want to undo these yet. About the display and uh, kind of where things are at. The display is all of the other half of those. Very small LED where batteries. they're already pretty much undone, so I have no problem on the angle. It takes 143,000 likes. Um, just this year, we finished for 2014. I started with a static display almost a decade ago with just 25,000 free lights. But again, you can see it's a very similar kind of color. If I can get these ones to stay on, that would be nice. Let's put that on pause for a minute. I'll dim it down. As you can see, it's out of focus. Of course it is. There, it's in focus this time. You can see one of these looks really nice and warm feeling and one of them looks like a unicorn just threw up on your screen. I, I just, I don't like the coloring and the way that the LED ones are done. I don't, I don't like it. And as you can see, the LEDs are very sensitive. Like this one, probably a 10 year old set and it's failed. Now let's see if I've got a set of similar vintage here, an incandescent that's multicolor. And look at that, they just work. Granted, this set has just a loose bulb, and I know that. That's why it flickers like this, but not to the point where I'm literally sitting here twisting a a bulb to make the connection. And this set here is older. And other than a single loose bulb causing a slight flicker whenever you move them, they don't just cut out on their own like this. To the point now where I don't even know if this is going to come back on. Yeah. I know they're on right now, but between the overly harsh blues, like even you can see in here the blue is like really bright and so but the greens are okay, they're a little bit more harsh than I would like, 
but the blue is just the blue is too much and again you can see like the flickering of them if I do that I know I, I can see it in person when I do this I'm trying to pick up nicely on the camera Am I going to switch away from the good old fashioned incandescent lights? Absolutely not. But I do mainly use LED lights outdoors. I do put a few incandescent strings outside. But I mostly just put LEDs up outside because it's convenience. I don't have to stand out there in the cold replacing bulbs and figuring out what failed. As well as outside, I'm limited to two circuits. I can only plug in... Te technically, I could use four. But... There's two on the house outside. Well, there's one on the house outside. For all three outlets. One circuit. And... There is... A circuit in the garage that I can plug into and run a cord out the door, which is what I usually do. Because then I can have it on a smart plug that's not outdoor rated. I'm getting a message because my phone's over there. Good to know. Um. So, current is an issue. I can only have like 30 amps worth of lights off the house. Now, I could run a couple extension cords from the garage and have 30 amps over there, too, but that's 60 amps. That's 60% that's of what we have available to the house. We have a 100 amp service. And then you got to factor in my current draw up here, the current draw in the interior of the house for lighting, because I put a lot of lights in the inside of the house, too. Probably close to... Probably close to 5 amps worth of lights in the house. Maybe 10 amps worth of lights. I don't know the exact number. He's texting me. So. You, you gotta factor in that. And then you gotta factor in loads of other things in the house. And doing all incandescent outdoors and indoors would just be too much. Now, doing LED outside where I have a lot of lights and doing the rest inside incandescent works out. I've never had a problem. 